Welcome back. Transport Minister Chi Hong Ta says Bukit Panjang LRT is expected to become more reliable with new train cars added. Two are already up and running with the aim to upgrade the entire fleet of the 25-year-old line by 2026. Claudia Lim with more. New LCD monitors that display routes clearly, LED lights that save energy and an upgraded aircon system. These are new features fitted in the latest generation of light rail vehicles deployed to service the Bukit Panjang LRT line or BPLRT. Two vehicles are making its maiden ride and commuters are liking it so far. New experience I would say and also like it's convenient, more convenient. It's quite futuristic and the aircon is very cold. I find the old trains uh, okay, I guess, but the aircon can be quite hot, but they are prone to breakdowns a lot. And I'm hoping that the new train won't be prone to breakdowns. These new vehicles will gradually replace 19 first generation ones. They will also be fitted with systems and sensors to better monitor and detect faults. It will complement ongoing efforts to renew the aging BPLRT system like upgrading the operations control centre, power supply system and second generation vehicles. Since opened in 1999, the Bukit Panjang LRT has been quite literally a roller coaster ride. Commuters have had to endure countless disruptions, including a power trip, collision, and early closures. And at one point, authorities even considered scrapping the system altogether. Replacing the trains now will hopefully give residents some respite, getting them to their destinations without hiccups. At the launch, Transport Minister Chi Hong Tat rode the train, joined by his cabinet colleagues, Deputy Prime Minister Gan Kim Yong and Foreign Affairs Minister Vivian Balakrishnan. They rode to Chua Chukang MRT station, which is the nearest one that connects commuters to the North South Line. With the BPLRT experiencing one delay of over 30 minutes in the first quarter of this year, these upgrades hope to boost reliability of the line. For the second quarter of this year, we have already seen an uh, increase uh, in the figures. Uh, from first quarter, 173,000 to 204,000 in the second quarter. And we hope that this number can continue to go up as we bring in more and more new trains progressively. All 19 third-generation vehicles are expected to arrive in Singapore by end 2025.